It's Big Fit TV. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. What is up guys, it's the homie Big Vic, we back in there with another video. Today, it's a very interesting video. Today I am talking about church. If you're brand new, make sure you smash that thumbs up button for me. If you're just tapping into this content, if you're brand new around here, I talk box trucking, I talk business, I talk music. Some things in between every now and again, so if I review some things, sometimes I drop reviews on the channel. It's been a while since I did a review, but I do drop reviews from time to time. You may like it around here. If you find yourself liking the content, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button for me if you want to continue to check out the content. And there's a little notification bell that you can click for me, All right? My topic today is basically about church. Church is always like, I don't know, like a, 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 a touchy subject. Like when we were in barbershops, they kind of say like some of the things that you don't talk about is like church and politics. Like if you're in a the workplace, they say church and politics. You never discuss those things. But guess what? We're not in the workplace. We're in my zone right now. We're in, we're in, we're in Big Vic's world. We're on, we're on Big Vic TV right now. So we can talk about whatever we want to talk about, right? I heard Dr. Claw Anderson say this before I get into today's subject. Dr. Claw Anderson, and I quote him, he says, they say that money can't get you into heaven. Well, I say this, as he said, I'll let money take me as far as it can get me, and I'll get out and walk the rest of the way. Damn. All right, so I want to talk about my experience because I know some of you guys probably had maybe similar experiences that I've had along my, my my church journey and not to say that you know something is wrong with church for me the experience was was cool but there's something that I noticed after attending for about four years or so this is after kind of doing everything I wanted to do and I was like okay I tried everything else I did find I found a church that I used to attend out in Florence South Carolina um, I won't say exactly which church it was, but it was a younger pastor. And that pastor kind of like brought a message that I could relate to. You know, he brought the word in a way that it was relatable to me. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I visited the church. Then, you know, I started bringing my family there. We became members. Uh, I ended up getting baptized. Uh, the whole, you know, the whole works and started attending started uh you know beginning to you know started learning more about tithing and this became like a really huge subject in that ministry in our church you know and uh, there was it was something that i never was doing you know when i would attend church occasionally i would you know put something in a little you know a little bucket a little basket you know when i attended different churches just visiting i would do you know make donations uh just just giving uh, just to just to be given it was on my heart so I would get you know so but I found myself becoming real faithful at that at church in that ministry I started learning about tithing so I would write out the money that I made you know that I was making in the barbershop I would write out how much I made for the week take that deduct 10 percent and I would put that in church now but what I started noticing that was happening when we would come in, I would go in on Tuesdays and I would go in on Sundays. And I was noticing that the message or how the service would start is with one of the scriptures. And it was, will a man rob God? And that was the question the pastor would ask, will a man rob God? And the congregation would repeat back, well, he would ask, how will a man rob God? And the congregation would repeat back through tithes and offerings. So it always started off, the service always started off with that message. And after hearing this message repeatedly over and over and over again, either you're going to tithe or you're not going to tithe. So, yes, I was tithing faithfully, faithfully. I was a faithful churchgoer and I 
brought so many people you know to that church to hear the message because you know i was excited about it of course when you're excited about something what do you do you tell other people about it so i end up had a lot of friends and family members that started attending that church based on you know my word and how i felt about it and how i explained you know the pastor to them and it just kind of started getting to a point where you know i'm over time and over years i'm doing a lot of tithing i'm faithful you know i'm, I'm going to all the church functions i'm participating and i just found i wasn't growing like i wasn't growing financially i wasn't i was still broke you know i was growing religiously or spiritually maybe um but i just found that my money wasn't strong i i see i seen the head prospering more than the flock moving we moving from one church to a bigger church and i'm looking at the congregation i'm trying to see like who's growing here like who's actually receiving like what what information are we receiving that we're able to apply and be able to grow financially you know of course we, we, we were growing spiritually but i wasn't growing financially and i noticed the longer that i stayed it's just like i couldn't break this like this was a, it's like it was a ceiling that i couldn't break through and it was just like like wow like i'm i'm broke like I'm, I'm working every day but i'm not i'm not growing i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing i'm giving my 10 percent. you know i'm giving extra when it's you know when i had extra to give or if we have anniversaries at the church and you know giving giving more like giving 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 I was, we were doing a lot of giving but i just didn't feel anything you know coming back and i always ask myself am i prospering now from the seeds that i planted then now that i'm no longer a part of that organization you know so i still have a whole an entire spiritual spiritual journey that i do but it's not related to you know any churches so i don't know if any of you have experienced anything similar if you you know if you've been a part of uh church organizations and you know kind of in the back of your mind you're just like man i've been given 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 and nothing seems to be really working for me in spite of me giving from my heart and you know doing what i'm supposed to be doing as a christian or you know someone who's attending churches it's just a lot of just a couple other you know things that i've seen and like in that church particular uh where i've seen people that you know gave faithful like actually pastors aides and things of that nature and you find yourself in a position where if you ever needed assistance after giving so much and the church is not able to assist you i just don't think that's a good situation i you know i feel like the church should be more so to help people not only to help you in like your spiritual walk or your walk with god but i just feel like it needs to be something reciprocated if you ever fall on hard times you should be able to come to the church for help i i thought that's what the church was for you know but i didn't see that reciprocated when a few people needed help at times and i was like oh wow they don't do that here just found it very just just a couple of things here and there that i that i was seeing once my eyes started on, on opening up a little bit and like my wife was never really like wanted to be a part of it like that she came to support me and just so that our family would be on one accord and it was just like it, it was always like a it was a little tough like certain events certain events that would happen i'm like you know we got to go to this uh event blah 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 and she was like uh i don't think i want to go you know <laughs> so uh it was a it was a tough a, a tough spot for me you know just certain things that i wasn't uh a part of uh participating in you know but i was tapped in i was tapped in at 100 percent you know just 
it was a whole journey it was a whole different journey um have you guys experienced anything like that you know i visited other churches af after that church and attended and you know i just just doesn't certain things just does, don't sit right with me you know knowing that i like grew exponentially after i disassociated myself from that you know uh never disassociated myself from uh god or my my higher power or my 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 creator you know what i'm saying never just dis not disassociating myself from that in a sense but disassociating myself from being under an umbrella or a, a a man you know at the at the head of a church per, you know if i can say it that way i just found that after i let that go i started to grow more of course i've always been an avid reader you know so i have a, a, a good library nice library of books on you know all things all things personal development things to help me grow as an individual so i've always been tapped into that you know for years now how do you guys feel about that like we're not that i'm asking about like your 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 relationship with god but have you ever been found yourself in a situation to where you were giving 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 but it just you just weren't wasn't you just were not reaping from what you were giving like i find myself now giving more in several different ways you know than i was at that time even though i was giving you know to the church directly but i find myself more of a cheerful giver now and still exercising the principles all the spiritual principles and that has been working for me like i said it doesn't matter what you do everybody has a different journey everybody has their own paths that they're that they've taken you know maybe it's it worked for you like i said some things that may work for me may not work for you what may work for you may not work for me you know every, all, we all have our our different paths that we take out here in life what experiences have you guys experienced i don't know i just want to have some dialogue like some 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 good positive dialogue like i'm not downing anybody that goes to church or anything whatever you believe in is what you believe in like this is not one of those type of videos just saying like what my experience was so don't 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 confuse the message like don't get the message confused i just know like my growth like i grew more like i grew exponentially not only spiritually but financially as well after i disassociated myself from that you know what i'm saying so what's your journey what journey are you on what do you believe in you know i know people feel like this is sort of like a, a sensitive topic but this not a sensitive topic it's a big topic it's like people we all have different views and how we view things out here uh in the world even when it comes to religion politics like we all have different beliefs what do you believe tap in chime in down below in the comment section I, you know i just I just know I had a, uh, you know, what my experience was. And you know, if I tap into anything, I go all out in it. So that was my experience. What do you guys experience? If you did experience anything, have you been associated? We've all, I'm sure we've all tapped into church at some point of our lives. If we haven't, or we still are, I'm sure you tapped in some type of way. Did you find, did you find growth? Are you growing? Did, 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 did things change for you? Like what experience? did you have let's talk about it it's the homie big big tv you already know what it is always hustle never stop growing to the next video drop in the comments down below let's talk about it let's see baby peace